Hey guys, welcome back, and today I'm doing the Magic Dork transition effect, and we're doing this on Final Cut Pro. Let's jump into the video. And this open door effect, it doesn't need any additional plugins. Today's notification shadow goes to CXKADHX. I hope I got this right. It's on the screen anyway. Your comment was first, so big shout out to you. The second shout out goes to Mohammed Asa Afridi. Thank you so much for being supportive and shout out to you, Mohammed Asa Afridi. There's pretty much two things you're gonna need for this. Number one, record yourself opening any door in your house. Like for example, right now I'm opening the door to where I edit my videos. And number two, you're gonna need some really awesome clips, something that's different from your house. It could be nature or like the beach, anything that's out of the ordinary. Something that's gonna make the effect more awesome. Now that you have the two elements, now let's jump into the Final Cut Pro and show you how to edit this. And if you're new to Final Cut Pro, I have two videos in the description that will help you. Of course, get the clip where you open the door and also the clip of the background. And we're gonna import both of them. So we put the opening opening door clip on the timeline, then zoom in because we're going to do keyframing which requires very specific editing. Now go on the right side and click draw mask. So basically add the mask, drag it to the clip, make the door a little bit open like this already, then make the view a little bit smaller, then basically draw the mask. And then of course where the hand is is going to be more detailed. So we put a few extra points here, then we are going to invert the mask. So now the door open is masked out. Now go to the right side, click add keyframe. Then we're gonna backtrack it, so click the arrow back key. Then click next keyframe. Obviously you need to resize the mask. Then click next keyframe. Then click the arrow back key. And if you wanna move key frame by frame, you just click this button. Then keep readjusting the mask. So only the door opening is gonna be masked out. I'll speed this up and be back in a second. Now that you backtracked it to the start of you opening the door, now go all the way until the control points stop moving. You see right here. Then keep readjusting the mask. Then mask it all the way until your door is completely open. Obviously the mask is still there, but like all the way until here, for example. And of course, every time you move the mask, click next keyframe. And do it all the way until the door is fully open. AKA there's no door pieces in the video, so you should have a completely black screen. I just finished the mask, so you want this mask to look like you're opening the door. So at the end, there's gonna be nothing. There's gonna be legit no background. And this is how it looks with the mask together. You see the points? And before you open the door, the mask is still there. But what we can do, we go to the point where the door starts to open. And pretty much over here, cut the clip. And for the first part where the mask doesn't need to be there, unmark the mask. And there you go. So no mask here. And then the mar mask starts right here. Then of course, put the background clip behind. And now when I open the door, it's completely different than my house. And over here, the door is very sharp, like a sharp edge. So we can try to put a little feather. So give this like a softer little look. Now it's slightly better. I'm gonna show you the full effect in a second. And to make the effect even better, you can put some sound effect. So we take the doorknob effect. Obviously I can leave the original sound too. Then we drop this bird effect under two. Then we increase the bird sound and, uh, when the door opens. So we're gonna put it low in the beginning and higher here. We can add some other birds as well. And obviously there's no birds, this is just a test. And here is the ready clip. <laughs> obviously if you did this on your own, you'll make it even more perfect. I just wanted to make it faster. If you want to see another really awesome Final Cut Pro effect, make sure to click this video. This is a Zach King color change effect. 
make sure to subscribe because I post videos like these every single week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!